Yeah, it's definitely a big one. We definitely can't ignore that it's a big one. Um, pretty good football team, a lot of great athletes, a lot of great players, smart players, great coaches. It's overall good organization, but um, we feel like we can match the intensity of that organization this week. How much is it, too, just you guys doing what you do? It's very easy to get caught up in what they do, but should Florida State do what they do best, you can get a win in this game. You know, you always want to respect your opponent. You never underestimate them, but at the same time, you never under underestimate yourself. So. It's about us. Uh, it's about what we do to prepare for these guys so we can go in here and, you know, pull out a win. You know, it's about us and we have to go with the game plan. It's no secret, you know, their offense obviously maybe one of the best in the country. Talk about the challenge of defending a team like this. Oh, it's going to be a um, great challenge. You got Tosh Boys, um, Sammy Watkins, and a lot of other skilled guys. And um, not only are they good players, they're good people, man. You know, it's going to be a lot of respect, a lot of love, a lot of competition out there. It's going to be a great one. Talk about a couple of years ago, you went up there and it's a tough place to play. What did you learn from that atmosphere a few years ago? I just learned that you have to take those guys serious. Uh, their fans is like a 12, 12 man on the field. I mean, those guys, that place go crazy and you have to uh, keep your wits about yourself and uh, be able to play through all the pressure. Last year, you guys were really able to control Sammy Watkins. What did you do last year defensively? It really was able, not to shut him down, but really control the guy. You know, just um, all that week, just game planning for him. He's a um, red talent guy. You just have to know where he's at all the time on the football field. He's just one of those guys, and you have to uh, put him into the scouting report. You have to game plan against a guy like that. How important are your keys this week? Because I think last year Clemson threw literally the kitchen sink at you. They threw every single offensive play you could imagine. How big is that knowing exactly kind of, you know, it's kind of knowing that you can't expect anything from them to know exactly you've got to be on your man at all times. And, you know, that's the tough thing about this team. I mean, <clears throat> they can line up, put you in the mouth. They can outthink you, outsmart you. So you just have to believe in the game plan you go into that game with and um, and hope and pray that that's, that's the best thing for that team because they have a lot of weapons. And, they can beat you mentally and not only physically, so it's a big one. You have to you have to embrace this challenge. Last week obviously was a big week in, in, in stats and um, rankings changes, FSU being one of those. Does the fact that you guys are both high ranking and the rankings are changing, is that something that's on your mind or is it something you have to keep out of the way? Well, you know, not to be arrogant, but this is Florida State. Um, that's why you come here. You want to be the top five, top ten team in the country. and uh, We never pay attention to you know, to stuff like that. You know, we play football and we game plan week in, week out. And, you know, the guys that make that judgment, you know, it's, it's up to them. So, I mean, we're, we're kind of out of that kind of statistic thing, stuff. Seeing them um, in previous years and other tough opponents, um, is this a time where you kind of have to step up and be more of a leader to some of the other guys who haven't seen competition like this? I mean, I kind of respect what our head coach, Coach Fisher, said um, this morning. I mean, you don't turn up. You don't. You don't do anything different. I mean, we just we just gonna do what we've been doing all season. I mean, it's another football game. Is it a big one? Yes, but we have to just do the things we've been doing all football season. That's prepare and um, get ready to go out there and win a football game. So if you're doing the same, do you think there's nothing that you need to do specifically to get this W? Not at all. What would the W mean for you guys in this program for this year? It'd be a big one. It'd be a big one for us. I mean, both highly ranked teams and uh, I mean that mean a lot when you're thinking about the bigger picture as far as championships so um this would be a big W for us and this one we definitely know we need. And how about that bye week is that just kind of the perfect time for you guys to get rested have a little more preparation and uh, get healthy? Yeah it was, it was it was a great bye week uh couldn't come at a better time because for a team like this um you never know what to expect so you have to watch the most film you can on these guys and prepare the right way if you want to um, go to Death Valley and pull out a victory.